If I Were a Man by Charlotte Perkins Gilman is a story of what happens when a young woman, Molly Mathewson, turns into her husband, Gerald. Molly is considered to be a true woman as she is pretty, petite, and a good mother and wife. Initially, Molly and her husband get into an argument about Molly spending too much money and forgetting to tell Gerald about the bill. Molly truly wishes she were a man so that she could have power and control over her life. Overnight, when she transforms into her husband, she sees the world in a new way. She notices the physical changes, such as how large her hands and feet are, as well as how she now has pockets for her belongings. She feels the power of being able to make and spend her own money. She also notices how absurd the women around her dress and how unnecessary and ridiculous their frilly hats are. She explains that the world opens up before her as it never has before because it is a man's world. Next, she meets with some of Gerald's male acquaintances on the train while on their way to work. She listens to the men talk about how women have limitations due to physiological weaknesses. She also hears them complain about how their wives spend all their money and brought evil into the world, beginning with Eve. She struggles to balance her masculine consciousness with her feminine background. She overcomes the struggle and tells the men that they cannot blame their wives for spending all their money because the men are too prideful to let their wives work. The reason they are spending all this money is to look beautiful and be accepted. No man would want a woman who dresses in plain, practical clothing. In reply to women bringing evil into the world, she blames men for allowing them to continue it. By speaking up and explaining their prejudice, Molly gave the men a new perspective from a woman's point of view that they had never experienced before. slender and um uh always like very pretty has makeup on um her hair has to be done always have like a gentler demeanor with themselves you're looking at these unrealistic uh, images of women that are literally perfect uh, the women are exceptionally thin concept as a society of the perfect woman being literally perfect um, in a way that is not attainable by anyone or any anyone at any time. Basically to nurture and raise kids, and while they're balancing that, also have a successful right. career to help um, provide finances to the house. So, I mean, it's, a, it's a dual role, one I would not want to be in. For women were, were expected to stay at home and, and cook and, and housekeep and take care of kids, which Strong and independent, but also, um, but like cares for others and, yeah, very feminine, I guess. The woman that can balance everything, I think that's it. Um, like she works, she cooks, she cleans, she takes care of children. They still have that emotional side to them, but they're still like very independent and strong. Yeah, I definitely would think so. Um, but that doesn't mean that uh, my spouse wouldn't be able to also bring in money. I feel like I would be the primary caretaker. My wife, if she wants to, she can work. No, I do not feel that I need to be a primary wife for my spouse. I think together, we both work. And we look at things, not equally, but there's a give and take for sure as to what we do. We both believe we need to do what we love. If one pays more than the other, then that's what it is. I do like think about that in the long run, but I, I don't feel like I have to. No, I'm not right now. I kind of feel like I'm expected to like have kids and be a mother, and but not necessarily um, be a stay-at-home mom. I think women are expected to like not only be mothers, but and excel in like that environment, but also excel in the work field. Well, I'd have to get a whole new uniform. Yes. <laughs> uh, there'd be a lot of differences um, overnight. Um, I'm sure emotionally, physically, uh, I definitely have to think about style a lot more. But women literally have to spend hours getting ready to make sure everything's perfect. You have this whole new set of expectations that society imposes on you. And if you don't meet them, then you get a lot of dirty looks. In addition to that, I mean, of course, periods would suck a lot. <laughs> I, th I feel like my maybe my career path would change 
Um, I feel like maybe I might have more opportunities for certain things and I might be viewed in a different way and be expected to be more, um, like less emotional and more um, strong and dominant. Obviously I would be like viewed as probably stronger and more dominant. The way I carry myself might be a little different. Um, I'd be taller, I'd probably have facial hair, like you think of all like the new anatomy parts which would just like blow my mind. Be more intimidating than I am in my size and stature. Yeah, definitely. Um, playing sports, that was also just like, it was always just kind of like, oh, women's athletes, like, they like don't have any respect for them. Well, not like respect, but it's just like, I don't know, they're not considered like, athletes, as good of athletes as men, and all of so that. Maybe stuff. in certain things like sports and stuff, I definitely feel like I've had to work hard. And in other parts of my life, I feel like I've been treated pretty equally. Pro probably in like the physical sense, yeah, like I've had like in sports and I have two older brothers, so like in like fighting. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know I have to work hard. I don't know if I necessarily compared myself to like males. I don't know. Everybody's an individual. Whatever purpose you have in life it may come sooner or later, but eventually you'll find it. It's not up to me to guide my wife where she needs to be in life. I do feel like it would be helpful, but I do believe that, that women have the uh, ability and intelligence to be able to um, succeed on their own. The only reason that, uh, on the whole, women would, it would be harder for women to achieve success is because of, like, societal um, st structures that society has set up against women. Compared to the early 1900s, society's view of women has changed greatly. All women are no longer expected to be stay-at-home moms and are viewed as stronger and more independent. They also take on greater and more powerful positions in the workplace. But in contrast, a greater amount of men still hold high power positions. Women are also expected to look and act a certain way that society sees as acceptable, such as being pretty, put together, and sensitive. American society has come a long way, but is it enough?